What is Scav Karma? Why should you care? And how do you get it? Keep watching and I'll show you some easy and fast methods to increase your rep and why it's a priority for me every wipe. Playing as a scav in Escape from Tarkov is a great way to play with little to no risk. You get provided with a set of gear with varying levels of usability and you have the opportunity to find items you might need for tasks or loot you can just sell. If you're looking to make money, I highly suggest you check out my other video on the best scav map to do this. Link will be in the description below. So what is Scav Karma? Your Scav Karma is listed in game as your fence rep. It goes up or down depending on your actions you do in game and has some pretty wicked benefits that unlock the higher it gets. New benefits are unlocked with each whole number increase and you'll have achieved max Scav rep once you hit 6.0 or higher with fence. To put it simply, scavs are an overpowered part of Escape from Tarkov and a serious cash flow machine. I basically fund my whole wipe with scav runs so that I can focus on my PMC runs solely for tasks and PvP fun. With a low scav rep, you'll only get a few extracts. With max rep, all scav extracts will be available to you, giving you more time to loot knowing that the route you take will more likely land you near an extract. With a rep of zero, your scab cooldown is going to be around 25 minutes. Building Intel 1 in your hideout reduces this by 15%, and with an Intel 3, reduces it by a further 30%. This gets the base timer down to about 15 minutes, and once you have max rep, the cooldown reduces down to about 5 minutes. This means that by the time you sell all of your loot in the raid, it'll be time to go again. I cannot stress how powerful having a 5 minute scab cooldown is. If you get lucky, you can basically net 2 million or more per hour with Intel 3 built and max scab rep. One of the coolest perks with max rep is that scab bosses will not kill you on sight. They basically become your allies. And with a scab rep of six or higher, you can literally walk up to these bosses, hang out and wait for them to kill PMCs and other scabs with a lower rep and reap those benefits. Hello, Gluha, what's happening? What are you looking at through the floor with your Ash 12, huh? What are you tracking? You have the ability to give scavs orders, like dispersing or to come and give you help when you need it. Simply go into your voice commands here, go help and then need help. Ah, and the scavs will all run to... over. With a low rep value, there is a decreased chance of this working and some scavs will just outright refuse to follow your orders. Now I want this man to follow me, but he is not interested. No, not. Max rep means you have a scav army at your disposal to clear areas, follow you around and help you take down PMCs and naughty scavs. Your scav loadout, while heavily RNG based, is also based on your scav rep. The higher the rep, the better chance of loading in with something good. Labs access cards, rare keys, red flares, and other items become a frequent occurrence with higher rep. Not to mention, better armor and guns. There are even some benefits to your PMC with a high scav rep. Car extracts are discounted, the size of the BTR stash on streets is larger, so you can fit way more in, and the scav case in the hideout is way faster. Max rep lets you turn over a moonshine scav case in less than two hours. So there are heaps of benefits, but how exactly do you increase your rep to gain these maximum rewards? Simply extracting on your scav will net you a plus 01 rep. You don't even need to survive. A run through, yes, they're possible on scavs, will still net you a plus 01. This method will stack up over time and obviously becomes easier with a reduced cooldown. But if your scav cooldown is still 25 minutes, this will take a long time to increase your rep. Probably the easiest and most passive way to get scav rep is to take car extracts as your PMC. There are seven maps with car extracts. Customs, Woods, Interchange, Shoreline, Lighthouse, Ground Zero, and Streets of Tarkov. Your first extract on each map will give you 0.2 rep. Additional uses will give you a base 0.2 rep divided by the number of times you've used it. So for example, the second use will give you 0.1, and the fourth use will give you 0.05. If you were to use a car extract four times on each map, you would be well over halfway to getting max scav rep. Once you've built Intelligence Center 1 in your hideout, Fence will start giving you daily tasks. These tasks usually come with a small amount of rep, anywhere between 0.01 or 0.05. These tasks can be completed on your scav and can be worth doing if you get lucky. What the f is this piece of sh Similar to the way the vehicle extracts works for PMCs, these co-op extracts can be done as either a PMC with a scav or a scav with a PMC. Hey, hey, let's be friends. Join extract, join extract. All right, I'm standing up. I got my knife out. Yep, 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 yep. The initial rep bonus is 0.25 for the first extract as either a scab or a PMC on each map. And with additional extracts on each map, dividing 0.25 by the number of extracts. 
while in raid try to team up with the opposite faction, so a scav or a PMC, in order to extract together on one of the co-op extracts on one of these seven maps. Ground Zero, Lighthouse, Interchange, Reserve, Shoreline, Streets of Tarkov, or Woods. As a scav, if you don't manage to convince a PMC to extract with you, you can always kill them. So long as a PMC has killed a scav in raid, you will receive a scav rep bonus. 0.02 if they have only killed one scav, and 0.03 if they've killed at least two scavs. Now factory, given its size, is my preferred map to do this on. There's normally still a PMC hanging about. And remember, you can only load in as a scav on a map if a PMC is still in raid. So no matter what, they're out there somewhere. If you see a player scav being shot at by AI scavs, or you witness them killing another scav, it's time to get even. Drop them and receive a nice little bonus of 0.03. Be careful though, because if they haven't actually injured or killed another scav, and you're mistaken, you might end up losing 0.1 rep. It's high risk, it's high reward, as these stack up for multiple kills in a raid. Now for one of my personal favourites. So let's say you can't find a naughty scav. They can be created. There are a number of ways you can encourage another scav to help you in your quest for scav rep. I had some viewers put together a number of ways this could be done, from asking people to break your arm for a fence task, to double pressing V for a melee attack while standing next to them to show your name. If I stand here, if you just double tap V, it'll show up your name on my side. But these often weren't successful. My tried and tested way is honestly just to act aggressive. No need to VoIP, just run at someone and start shooting near them. Fairly often, they will actually return fire in a panic, and so long, I have to emphasize here, so long as they hit you, you can instantly drop them for some easy rep. One final tip, keep an eye out not to kill any scab bosses, boss guards, or any other scavs, as that rep loss could be pretty devastating. If you use as many of these tips as possible, you will have max rep in no time. Some, obviously, have more risk than others, but working on a combination of them, you might find you can get close to 0.06 rep per raid in combination with the additional from vehicle and shared extracts on your PMC. Good luck out there, and happy scaving. If you found this guide helped you get max scav rep, make sure you like this video and subscribe for further videos in the future. And if there's anything I've missed, please leave it in the comments.